The history of smoking dates back to as early as 5000 BC. Smoking is defined as the action or habit of inhaling and exhaling the smoke of tobacco or a drug. Smoking generally has adverse health effects because smoke inhalation inherently poses challenges to various physiologic processes such as respiration. Diseases related to tobacco smoking have been shown to kill approximately half of long-term smokers when compared to average mortality rates faced by non-smokers. A 2007 report states that each year about 4.9 million people worldwide die as a result of smoking. So why do people in spite of knowing the results keep on smoking. Well, cigarettes contain nicotine which is highly addictive. Nicotine alters the balance of two chemicals called dopamine and noradrenaline in your brain. When nicotine changes the levels of these chemicals, your mood and concentration levels change. Many smokers find this enjoyable. The changes happen very quickly. When you inhale the nicotine, it immediately rushes to your brain where it produces feelings of pleasure and reduces stress and anxiety. This is why many smokers enjoy the nicotine rush and become dependent on it. The more you smoke, the more your brain becomes used to the nicotine. This means you have to smoke more to get the same effect. When you stop smoking, the loss of nicotine changes the levels of dopamine and noradrenaline. This can make you feel anxious, depressed and irritable. If you think smoking an e-cigarette makes a difference, it doesn't. Researchers actually found that a brand of e-cigarette contains more than 10 times the level of carcinogen contained in a regular cigarette. Formaldehyde and acetaldehyde, both harmful toxins, were also found in the vapor produced by several types of e-cigarettes. While short-term smoking has been seen to increase memory and concentration, its long-term effects are quite opposite. A study by a team of researchers has shown that smokers who have been smoking for over a year lose more of their memory when compared to non-smokers, and this gets worse day by day. The study involved more than 70, 18 to 25 years old. They were divided into groups of three. The first group was of people who regularly smoke. The second group consisted of people who had quit smoking and the third group consisted of people who never smoke. Those who took part were asked to recall small details such as music acts listed to play at the students' union and tasks completed at various points, known as real-world memory test. Smokers performed badly remembering just 59% of the tasks, but those who had given up smoking remembered 74% and those who had never smoked recalled 81% of the tasks. People who have been addicted to smoking for a long time still have hope in turning over a new leaf. Choose a quit day. Pick a day that is not stressful for you so that you can prepare yourself. It can be your birthday, your anniversary or even just the first day of the month. Don't quit alone. Telling someone about your decisions to quit can give an enormous support when you feel alone in your battle to quit. Know your nicotine replacement options. Nicotine replacement therapy can be a great help in quitting smoking as it can help you overcome the withdrawal symptoms. It is considered safe for all smokers except for pregnant women and people with heart disease. If you're going to do it, do it. Commitment is key to be successful in your attempt to quit. It will certainly be hard, but it is worth it. Got a burning question to ask or any suggestions to give? Put them down in the comment section below and we'll be happy to read them out. And make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram and subscribe for more weekly science and maths videos.